I know. The Mets made a big trade. We'll address it coming up. Will they make another big trade? We'll address it coming up. Got a lot to discuss. But last night, Tiki, as I sat down for Sunday Night Baseball, I was disgusted. (laughs) I was disgusted. Why? Because I'm getting my scorebook ready, getting set to watch Yankees Orioles. Mm Mm-hmm. And I'm not a hyperbolic guy. I don't think I am. Nope. But I thought yesterday was as huge of a regular season game as the Yankees will ever play. Uh, You're playing the rubber game of a three-game series against the Orioles. You have to beat them. You have to beat them. The season series is on the line. Yep. Which nowadays is your tiebreaker. The Houston Astros loom. They do loom. as As do Tampa. Yes. And if you look at the standings last night, the Yankees win in eight games back. If they win the game, they're seven games back with a tiebreaker. If they lose the game, they're nine games back without a tiebreaker, so they're really ten games back. The moral of the story is last night was a monumental baseball game. And when I sat down to put my scorecard together, I noticed two things that cannot be defended. They cannot be defended. I mean, you could try. They tried. I don't think you would. They tried. Aaron tries a lot of stuff, bro. He tries a lot of stuff. But there is no way in hell you can go into a game of that importance and sit not only DJ LeMahieu, who actually looked good on Friday and Saturday, but sit Aaron Judge. It cannot happen. Now, is that the reason they lost? Obviously, giving up six runs before he asked as comfortable in the seat is a big reason why. <laughs> but you can, you're can you not a serious franchise. You have no urgency. If you go into a game that I think I aptly described as monumental, and I gave you the reasons, mm-hmm. and say, yeah, I've got to make sure Aaron's okay. <laughs> You can't do that. Why not? I, hold on. So let me back up for a second. Go. Now, you're talking about the Yankees and their their pursuit of not only the division, which I think is now getting further and further out of hand, but more importantly, the playoffs. Yes. Right? So let's stop for a second, calm down, and look at the rest of the schedule. Tampa, Houston, Chicago, Miami's in there, Atlanta, Boston, Washington, Tampa. It gets a little bit dicey as you get towards the end because of the the teams that are all competing still, including especially Boston, Houston, right, and, and Toronto Blue Jays. But do you think, just off the cuff, your gut reaction, are the Yankees making the postseason this year? Not, they're, not, they're, not after uh, that uh, kind uh, of uh, BS uh, last hold on, night. Hold no, on. no. Are the Yankees making the post? Just take take your best guess on what's going to happen <laughs> over the last month of the se- two months of the season. Are they making the postseason? I mean, right now my pendulum leans towards no. No, they're three and a half games out of the wild card. Yeah, but, but tiki, 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 tiki. Three and a half tiki. games out of the wild card, and Aaron Judge is not even fully healthy. Yeah, but hold on. Hold are on. they making the postseason? They, there are teams you need to catch. And while I agree the Orioles are uncatchable, they became uncatchable last night. Because if you win last night's game and you're six games back or seven games back with a tiebreaker, <laughs> it's reasonable to okay. actually come back. Now at nine games back okay, with no tiebreaker, it's over. Stop, Goodbye. Stop, stop, stop. See stop. ya. Give the division to whoever you want to give it to. Give it to Baltimore, maybe the Tampa Rays who are, only, who are three games l- behind them in the loss column. Right? Give it to whoever. I'm talking about the postseason. Do you think the Yankees can make the postseason? If they manage with this kind of lack of urgency, no. <laughs> well, Aaron no, Judge has got to so, get right. You gotta, he's got to get right. I, Did I, he look good Friday? Yes. Did he look good no, Saturday? Well, he, what are they saving him for in September? Let me, let me break some news to you and to every Yankee fan. If they mess around and get swept by the Tampa Bay Rays, there ain't going to be a September. Okay. Am I wrong about no, that? No, I don't disagree with you, but I don't believe that's going to happen. I think Aaron Boone is trying to manage to to get to the postseason, not to win the division, not to get hot right now, and certainly not to risk the health of Aaron Judge. This was a pre-prescribed uh, plan with Aaron. Going to play a couple games, going to take a day off. I kind of surmised this on Friday when we talked about it. I thought it would be one off, one on, one off, one on, maybe two on then, one off. I thought it would be that way. Instead, they go two on, one off. And it's likely to be that way until Aaron Judge gets feeling good about he himself. He is feeling good. Did you I, watch him? I did. But you still don't want to push it. Tiki, Tiki, see, here's what changed. Ligament in his okay. toe. Here's what it's changed a big from deal. Here's what changed from Friday. So when we're on the air Friday and Aaron Judge is activated, you said it, Sean said it, I said it. Yeah, they're probably going to set him. But when he plays the way he played Friday and Saturday, and by the way on Saturday, he's playing right field. I know. 
And he's that looking, surprised me, by the way. Me too. And he's looking as good as he's looking. I take everything we fought on Friday and I burn it. No, I you throw can't. it out. Of you course can't. you do. You can't. Because you got to think long term. Long term. There may not be a long term. Okay, but long, do you not do you not agree with that? They're a week there, away from falling a, out of it if they mess is, around. There is a long term for Aaron Judge. There is definitely a long term. Five for Aaron years Judge. from now, it, whenever this you, isn't going to affect him. The long-term. last thing you want to do is put him in a situation where he has to get surgery. It le- seems like somehow he's mitigating this without getting surgery. It's the last thing you want is Aaron Judge to get surgery, and then he's truly different. But I keep coming back to the question: Are the Yankees going to make the postseason? Because I honestly believe that this is all that matters. To the Yankees. This is not about getting in position to win a World Series. This is not about beating the Baltimore Orioles in the division, the Tampa Bay Rays. It's about getting oh, no, to no, the postseason. No, no. But, but Tiki, I agree with you. Last night's game is one of the bridges to getting to said postseason. You have to win these games. Last night is a swing game to me. <laughs> and when you don't win that, or look, and I want to make it very, very clear. They lost the game because, as Luis Severino said, he's one of the worst pitchers in baseball. Yeah, we'll I know that. Yeah, we'll get to him. Certainly. I acknowledge that. But when I sit down and all of you sit down for a Sunday night baseball game as a rubber game of a three-game series and as a rubber game for the season series, there is no excuse for not only Aaron Judge, but for DJ LeMahieu, who was, I know it's modest, but yeah. three for eight. This weekend, whatever it was, he was still looking like a major leaguer. No, of course he and was. And you decide. And the series before, he walked six times, and like he was always yes, on base. Yes, you decide consciously before the biggest game of the year, which I think you're agreeing it's a huge game. It's a huge to game. To shit two of your I, key guys. I, That's unserious, I bro. I can't say it's the biggest game of the year. And it's not because the Yankees are still in it. They're still in it to make the postseason. Again, I'm not under any illusion um, that the Yankees are going to get to the postseason and just get on fire. Turn right? Garrett Cole's going to be great. Nestor's going to be back. Rodon's going to be Rodon that we saw in the Subway Series uh, pitch on, on, on last Wednesday. I'm not by any means stating that. But what I'm saying is that the stated goal, and I believe this is happening internally, he's not saying this out, outwardly, is we just have to make well, the yes, postseason. And I agree with and that so goal Aaron for now. Judge is, Aaron Boone is managing Aaron Judge to make the postseason. Okay. It's not to try to get hot and get on a streak and win eight out of ten. It, that, that's but not that's how you doing. make the postseason. I understand that. But not on his second or third day okay. back. Let me ask you a question. <laughs> he had the torn ligament okay. in his toe. I'll bring, it, I'll bring it to the other team in town. Okay. As much as we've killed Buck, when Pete Alonso, who did not look good coming off the I.L. Different calculus for the Mets. He, how many times did they sit him? <laughs> Different calculus. They and it's didn't, a, and basically. It's, and it's an upper body wrist injury as opposed to a lower body. You can't get off of it. So it's the kind of injury? It's the kind of injury, and it's the kind of player. The last thing you can afford is to push Aaron Judge for for these nine games, now six left, push Aaron Judge for these six remaining games and crush him to the point where he's he looks awesome, but he's then unavailable but, okay. for the remaining 40 but, games, but here's my 38 re- games, or whatever it I may be. I think sometimes in life and in baseball, you got to take things day by day. And what I mean by that is... Not with Aaron Judge. Okay. Not with a guy you're paying $40 million a year but, for the next but, nine years, eight years. But you have to give yourself a chance to win right now. He plays Friday, looks fine. He plays Saturday, looks great. Mm -hmm. I am now playing the rubber game of a series against the Orioles. I laid out the situation earlier. I've got to play him. There's a chance by the time I get to next weekend against the Astros, maybe I decide, you know what? I could sneak an off day. I don't know. I can't project what Saturday is going to look like. Here's what I can tell you. Yesterday was Sunday, and it mattered. And the New York Yankees put a lineup together last night, not the reason they lost, Mm -hmm. that was that lack of. Any sense of urgency. Oh, okay, but, you need to have urgency okay, but, when you're the Yankees or you're the Mets if you're actually trying to win things. So if you get a decent performance, and this is ifs and buts and candy and nuts and we'd all be you-know-what and giggles, right? <laughs> this is not what we're talking about. But if Seve is actually somewhat of Seve, like he was a couple of starts ago and not like he's been the last few. Like If Seve, Severino doesn't give up six runs before and out, right. do the Yankees have a chance in this game? Well, of course. Of course. Okay, so if you're Aaron Boone, that's what you're expecting. You're expecting your best players, and Seve's, he should be one of them. He's not. He hasn't been all season long, so you can't even say that he is, but you just trust your player, even though Seve doesn't trust himself. At yeah, and he's lost all confidence wow. in himself. He, has no, he needs to sit. He shouldn't start for another two weeks or so. Yeah, and they've he, got, his it, mind is go- – forget, forget his stuff. 
His mind is shot. We've also seen him now have four games this season in which he has left his team yes. in a non-competitive situation. That's right. That's right. So I agree with you, and whether it's Randy Vasquez or Johnny Brito, the Yankees have options okay. to sit okay. Severino. Now, so with ahead. that said, yes. the Yankees are still three and a half games out of the wild card. There is every opportunity with 57 games left in the, in the, in the regular season for them to f- make the postseason. And if Aaron Judge is healthy through the majority of that, then they're chances increase significantly. So Aaron Boone is managing Aaron Judge to be healthy. Not to win now, not to have an urgency. It is all about managing Aaron Judge to help this team make the postseason. It's not about winning the division. It's not about winning the wild card. It's not about winning the, the, the divisional round or getting to the ALCS. It is all about getting to the postseason. And you know why? Because this is the business that the Yankees are in right now. It is not to win world championships. It is to get to the postseason so that you can sustain the business model. It's different. Right with the Mets. The Mets have an independent billionaire as their owner. They don't care if they don't make the postseason and they have to eat $36 million of shares or how much are they ever going to eat of Verlander if they decide to move off from him. They know that it doesn't matter, the money. With the Yankees, the money matters. And how do I know that it matters? Because last season we heard Hal Steinbrenner talking about the, the, the checks that he had to pay for the, the interest on some of these loans, right? It's just, it's a different world from for Yankee fans and for the Yankees organization. It's not about winning the championship. And the only way they're going to get there is if they have uh, financial stability, if they turn over this roster, and it's going to take some time. By the way, Yankee fans, you're in for at least two or three years of this being exactly like this. We just got to make the postseason. We just got to make the postseason. We just get, Maybe we get lucky. Maybe one of these guys hits it. But it's about making the postseason right now for the Yankees. That is it, period. Anything else that comes is gravy. So if you're Aaron Boone, this is why I can't get on him. It is not about, you know, rushing Judge back and, hey, Judge, we need you. But we're, that's how you make the postseason. going to jump on. But take it, that's but how you make get, the postseason. But if he gets hurt, you got no chance. If he doesn't play, if you he, have no if, chance. If he gets hurt, you have zero chance. But, but there's a zero. possibility, if you mess around anymore, that in mid-August, the Yankees are buried. <laughs> like, Seriously, I'm not fan graphs. I don't sit here with percentages on, hey, this gives me a 20% chance to make the playoffs or 30% chance. I do Evan math. And here's my Evan math. <laughs> okay. If you win yesterday's game, your chances of getting in yes. are higher. Okay. If you lose yesterday's game, which they did with an unserious lineup that lacked any kind of, hey, we need to win this game, hey, how was Aaron you Ju- hurt your chance. How was Aaron Judge feeling after Saturday? How is he feeling? So this is on Judge. I, I'm just asking. That's fine. How do you you I, think Aaron Judge should have pushed Aaron Boone into a locker and said, get my ass in the lineup? I, I respect I'm, that, Tiki. I'm, I'm just asking. Is that after, what you're saying? After Saturday's game, maybe sat Sunday morning, Aaron Boone goes to Aaron Judge. Is how you feeling, big boy? He says, mm, you know, it's, it's sore. It's stiff. It doesn't really feel. I mean, I'm definitely not playing right field today. Uh, maybe I can DH for you. And so, yeah, okay, we'll make you available off the bench. But after the game got out of hand, he was completely unavailable because why would you warm Aaron Judge up for a game that you have no competitive? No, you're you no not going to use thing. him until exactly. he's a chip that could tie and the so game of the home run. Maybe, I agree. Maybe Aaron Judge wasn't feeling great. <sighs> and Aaron Boone did right by his player's health as opposed, by his, uh, as opposed to his team's need to win this game. Because trust me, if Aaron Judge is unavailable for at any point left – and this season, they are definitely not making the postseason. And I'm not saying they're going to be in the red, but they're going to. There's going to be a tiny little bit of black as it becomes their, the the end of the the end of the financials uh, ledger for the Yankees this year. They have to make this postseason. That's their business right now. Make the postseason. The only way they're getting there is if Aaron Judge is healthy for the remaining 57 games. I mean, if it's about business, then they should be playing for the top wild card because they don't open those gates to Yankee Stadium if you're on the road for those three-game series. So that's a big part of it, too, <laughs> why he should be pushing. And if Aaron Judge is sitting there with the bat, ready to pinch hit the but, fourth but, inning, then he should have been but, available but, for but, four but, at-bats in DH last but hold time. Hold on, hold on. Sean, you realize that if you go look at the attendance, for the last month, Aaron Judge has not been available. And they've still been selling out. Exactly. But they, 43,000. But People he, are coming. It's a novelty to go to Yankee Stadium. I agree. Oh, I'm in New York for the summer. Oh, is Yankees tickets available? I'm going to go to the Yankees. But you don't get a whole right? playoff game anymore in the playoffs it, unless you're one of the top teams. It doesn't teams. matter. They just need to make the postseason. Yeah, but Dickie, they're not making the postseason. If every week we're going to get this unserious, hey, got to rest, guys. Got to save them for down the road when there may not be a it's down a, the road. And that's my point. The Yankees right now, they're 
teetering. Okay, but how, far, teetering, how far out of it do they need to be before we start actually saying that? Not like okay, not, 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 not emotionally saying okay, that. Okay, I'll give They're you an three answer. three and a half games out right now. Do they got to be five and a half games out? Is it 12 games out? Like, when do we get to the point when it's over? And they're not mathematically eliminated by any stretch of the imagination. They're three and a half games out of I the wild I think card. if this week against Tampa and Houston go ugly, we could be talking about it next Monday. Mm, maybe. Like, right now, maybe. they're within striking distance of a playoff spot. And I'm not telling any Yankee fan should believe they're going to make it. That's up to your own impression. But mathematically, they're right there. If they mess around more, they won't be there mathematically. And last night was one of those games, and they're rare. As a diehard baseball fan who watches 162, I always admit, there are certain games that matter more. Mm -hmm. There are certain games that are in bold. The rubber game of a three-game series with a division rival who you are 6-6 and against, and this is your final meeting, is one of those games. For this team and this manager, who in general I like, and I respect. So do I. For this manager. Good conversation with to him last put to, yeah, Great conversation. <laughs> I wish it was now. Because I would say the same damn thing. How can you put together a, we're thinking about the long-term lineup. Would you do that in game five of the ALDS? No. Of course not. No. Because your season's on the line. No. But this, this was close to that. No, it's Am I not. crazy? And, and this is why one day off can't become two or three in this stretch. He now has to play every what game. What if he's not healthy? For, then he shouldn't be out there right I now. I agree. Dude, I didn't think he would come back. But how can we not say he's not healthy if three homers like that plays right field? We're making a wild assumption that he told Boone he can't because play. Because he's He-Man. Because he's He-Man. Because you know what? Aaron Boone goes to him and says, Judd, bro, we need you, man. We need you. Because when we don't score three runs and nobody else here is going to give us three runs, we stink. We need you. And so he says, all right, what's my pain level? We talked to him about the pain threshold. It's probably four and a half right now, Skip. You know, I'm just taking some simulated batting at bats in the cage, swinging a little, not running much, but I'm I'm good. I got this, man. I got this. Because that's what stars do. They show up. They're available. Even if it sucks and it hurts, they're available. Mm -hmm. I think Aaron Judge did that for the Yankees. And after Saturday, where he was out of control and also playing right field, so Stanton could sit his butt on the bench, <laughs> right? He probably told Aaron Boone, man, I'm a little stiff. And that's all it takes. That pain threshold went from just under five to probably like a seven. And Aaron Boone had to do right by his star. Because if he miss, if he loses Aaron Judge for any, at any point for an extended period of time for the rest of this season, 57 games, yes. it is over. It's a wrap. Right. And the only thing the Yankees need to do, this is for... This is for their fans. This is for their their books. This is for their owner. This is for cash. This is for everybody. Is to make the postseason. That's all that matters. And I'm not even projecting what's going to happen once they get there. But the Yankees have to make the postseason. That's business 101 for the New York Yankees. It's different for the Mets. They got a they got a well, and a, also they got a billionaire owner who does not care I, if he loses money. I, we the also, Yankees are not in that spot anymore. Well, period. We, we also live in a world in which. I can, off the top of my head, not because I'm an encyclopedia, but because it's so rare, I can cite you every time the Yankees miss the playoffs. Because yes. it's rare. Yes. Because it's rare. Because it's their business model. Well, but but also, they're successful enough where they're in the playoffs every year. Yes. Their bad seasons yes. are losing in the playoffs. You're, st you're speaking my case. No, no, I get that, but you've <laughs> got to get there. And last night, no DJ LeMahieu, which is not the lead on this, it's Judge, but DJ not playing. DJ LeMay, who's been on base a million times the last four games, we don't see him. I have no insight on DJ LeMay, but I know that Aaron Judge is coming off a toe injury. And then, that's why he wasn't in the lineup, and that's why Aaron Boone is hemming and hawing, trying to blah, 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 and he had to know, do blah, that. blah, 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 blah. He had, I get it. He's doing it because he's trying to protect his player, but he's also trying to make the postseason he, at the same time. He does that before the game. So even before Luis Severino is giving up you know, five straight hits to start the game and Adam Frazier is hitting the ball that <laughs> off the warehouse... <laughs> After the game, after the Yankees lose this game, which, well, look, they lost because Luis Severino was non-competitive. Even though the bullpen kind of kept it right there. Mm -hmm. Once you've given up the nine runs, it's probably too late. Yeah. And they had some scoring opportunities. But they also struck out a ridiculous amount of times. They struck out 18 times. And this is the other thing, and this is a PR thing, but this is the other mistake that Aaron Boone made. After the game, he's asked about, Hey, you guys struck out 155 times. Outside of the strikeouts, like I thought at bats were, no, 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 no. you know, building off the last. See, let me give us some advice. 
Once you start a defense with outside of the strikeouts, no one cares what you just said. He's trying to protect his peeps. I got it. I I got it. I'll give you an example, and if it's too soon, I apologize because it was pretty horrible. But outside of your husband getting killed, Mrs. Lincoln, was the show good? No. No, no, no. We can't look past that. What are you talking about? We can't look past what Booth did. And it's to say they struck out 18 times. Nobody wants to hear anything after that about, well, they were good at bats. We had guys. No, 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 no. You struck out 18 times. Other than that, everything was great. (laughs) Slightly different. (laughs) Although Rizzo's performance was as ugly. Boy, he's a problem. Yeah. I don't think he's back, by the way. You don't think he's back? (laughs) Based on last week. I don't think he's back. I mean, a golden sombrero, a platinum sombrero. By the way, is it okay to boo Anthony Rizzo going 0 for 5 with 5 strikeouts yesterday? (laughs) Uh, the Yankee fans in Baltimore could have, <laughs> yeah. I guess. Yes. I think, I think 160, maybe 150, what is it, 52 something years? I think it's okay. It's not too soon. Oh, uh, it is? Okay. Not, not too soon. Did I'm you good. have a problem with that comment no, or you I want to defend that? that no, team? no, no. It's all good. That was good? That was good. No, no, not my <laughs> comment. Boone's comment. <laughs> not too soon. No, Boone. No, not at all. Not at all. Forget my comment. Boone is trying to protect his guys. I got it. Uh, yeah, yeah, but yeah. we hear this every year. We do. Oh, Joey Gallo, man, he just got some bad luck. <laughs> too bad that shift is still on. I'm sure next year it'll be great. <laughs> <laughs> now let's get to some of your calls on this. Rob in Melville. Rob. Rob Yeah. Uh, What's up, Rob? Evan, I'm with you. What? Hey. Evan, I'm Evan, I'm with you. Yeah. That's it? You're Did with you guys me? hear me? Yeah. yeah we got right, you. Are we you. You're problem here? No. Okay. Evan, I'm totally with you here because uh we hear the same thing all the time about we have to get to the playoffs. No problem. I'm totally with you there, Tiki. But sitting LeMahieu and Judge, yeah, that reeks of incompetence. You can't do that at this point. Evan is absolutely right with what he's saying here. We have to get to the playoffs before we can say, okay, we're going to. You know, we have to make a push to get to the playoffs. You- yes, that's absolutely correct. But Aaron Judge has been off for a month and a half now. Maybe he was sore, but he's. I heard his comments that he wasn't happy about being rested. And by the way, if he's still a little sore and he's hitting, going three for four, nobody else on the Yankees is doing that. I think we need him in the. I think we need him in the lineup. And also, but let's also not forget one thing about his injury. This is not a wear and tear injury. This is an acute thing that he got from running into a wall. It's a freak. It's not a wear and tear on his body injury. It's just it, it sucks. Well, well, yeah. One other thing before you respond it to this, Tiki. Go ahead. The other thing it reeks of is arrogance, and arrogance of. We're going to make the playoffs. We will be fine. Hmm. We are now at the point where it's August. You think, can't be arrogant but I anymore. I don't read that. You don't? I don't read that. It was a monstrous we, game, and they I, sat two of their better okay, hitters. But I don't read that we're automatically making the playoffs. I read we are desperate to make the playoffs, and if Aaron Judge is compromised in any way going forward, we have zero chance. Zero chance. So I think they're trying their hardest to keep Aaron Judge healthy in spite of his desire to grind through the pain level, which is probably over five and a half or six, according to what we, you know, we we surmise based on Aaron Boone's um, pain tolerance calculator that we talked about last week. Uh, Mike in Los Angeles. What's up, Mike? Hey, 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 how you guys doing? I'm uh, loving the new uh, show and the partnership. But Thank you. Tiki, you're confusing me. This is my calculus right now in my brain. <laughs> so by, by your logic, then, he shouldn't, if he if he uh, has soreness in his toe tonight and the Rays just demolished them, let's say, 10 to 1, then by your logic, he shouldn't play the next two games then, right? No. What are you talking about, dude? What are you talking I, I, about? I, I, but what, what, if he's not healthy, why is he? There's no. He, they okay. don't have first, time. First, first of all, Mike. Not on first, their first, time first, the game. He first, doesn't need this. Attack. Mike. Mike. First of all, if he you can't is, play, you Mike, can't play. Mike, hold on. He is not going to be healthy yeah. for the remainder of this season. I don't care how many Absolutely games they play. Not. I don't, Whether, think I don't care. Back how, in there at all. Hold on. Yeah. Whether they play 57 more and it's a wrap and they're going on vacation, or they get to the wild card and play three more there, get the divisional series. It, no matter how many more games the Yankees play, Aaron Judge is not uh, going to be healthy. Okay. Accept that. So then what's put the that, purpose of playing so, them? Like, just so, get to the playoffs? Because they have to. They, first of all, he wants to. In the first, game? first of all, he, wa- he wants to play. And two, they need him to play. And he realizes that they need him to play. But you can't run an injured player out over and over and over and over and over again. It compromises him short and long term. And so they had a pre-prescribed plan. 
it was, we're going to play you two games, we're going to give you a day off. Just And you heard this. Aaron Boone basically said this. And maybe next time you'll play two, three games and we'll give you a day off. It's all about finding the happy medium between Aaron Judge being health, uh, healthy-ish and effective versus injured. Yeah. And that pain tolerance starting to climb up to seven, eight. Hell, maybe it's nine. God dang it. You know what? We screwed this thing up. I got to get surgery, right? That's the last thing that they need to happen. But what they also are trying to balance is they need to make the postseason. Then play him. You can't. Play I just him. I just explained to you why you can't play him every but day. But you may not have to save him for September. If you mess around, you could shut Aaron Judge hold down on, if hold, things hold, get on. Hold on. Right. Don't. Hear what I'm saying. I'm I not. Am. I'm not saying save Aaron Judge for the postseason. We're we're gonna make the playoffs. We're the Yankees. Dang it! Save Aaron Judge. For, that's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is you got to manage Aaron Judge until you get to the postseason. You can't just let him go grind and play right field. I, honestly, that might have been the mistake. Him playing right field yes. on Saturday. The fine. Re, the reason that he fine. didn't play Sunday is because he played right field on Saturday. Right? I'm, I'm being serious. That's why Then he shouldn't have played right field. I agree. He didn't have to play right field. Like, as great of a right fielder as Aaron Judge is, and he's fantastic, he is needed for his bat. Yes. This is a limp that I will offense that scares nobody. And yet when Aaron Judge returned after missing nearly two months, Tiki, yes. it's like he didn't miss a beat. Of course he didn't because he's Aaron Judge. Right. Then play him. They need him out there every single day. Unless and here's you play what, him so much that he becomes unavailable for you when you need him most. You know what's funny? To Yankee fans, to a lot of Yankee fans, when they saw that lineup last night, whether it was as ESPN was announcing it or whether it was at 530 on some app or on Twitter, a lot of Yankee fans weren't surprised. <laughs> and that's the part that's sick. Like, long before Judge had this injury, the Yankees have always sort of reeked of the arrogance and lack of, hey, we need to win this game. They've done it for a while. So to a lot of Yankee fans, when they saw Judge's name not in the lineup, it was, ah, I saw this coming. Mm -hmm. And that's a problem. And it's not the direct reason why they lost last night, but there needs to be some urgency this week. I'll call it right now. They're playing seven games against the Rays and the Astros. Have some freaking urgency. We'll get you more of your calls about this, 877-337-6666. Plus, don't worry. We'll address what happened on Saturday and how Tiki Barber <laughs> broke the shocking Max Scherzer news to me while I was half naked on a Connecticut beach. 